finish it off. I think there's enough time to let us sit and talk. service year completed with the city um, the draft of that that ordinance is marked in red and then also that uh, that's just a one-time request because it's going to increase the dollar amount that that dispatcher will make in 2015 I thought it's proper to put it on the salary ordinance um, I could be wrong but I thought it was it seemed pertinent to put it on there for the one time I didn't really know of another way other than, I mean, unless we just wanted to have them sign, have the mayor and, and council sign an agreement. I mean, there could be a separate agreement that says that we're, we're providing a one-time severance to XYZ dispatcher, but so I went ahead and made it as an amendment and salary ordinance for, uh, for what the 15 salaries are, because it would be paid out prior to them leaving this year. And I do have more information. <coughs> what? That would be amending 2014-9. Right. You mentioned there are many dispatchers. So are there dispatchers <coughs> that we have that are either retiring or not? So only those These who are... These are the six that are actually physically going to go to the county dispatch, to the with kind of an association with the interlocal agreement. Okay, so it's so it's only those that are actually going to be, which is what we initially talked about as an incentive to encourage them to do that. Right. And the mayor and chief were just came up like two hundred dollars per year. They kind of fluctuate between one hundred fifty and two hundred. So total total dollar amount. Total dollar amount for severance um, with those six dispatchers is eighty six hundred dollars. And. These, do these dollars are actually coming from 911. 911. Yeah, the funds that so they're we gonna, they're just going to transfer. Nine, the, yeah, we yeah. currently hold uh, about sixty thousand dollars of 911 funds. So that was approved. There was a uh, a central dispatch proposal that was presented on Friday morning at the 911 board meeting. And those that figure was included in the in the amount that we would we use nine one one funds to write out for the severance. Just a quick clarification then. So if we're looking to amend twenty fourteen nine, uh, 
this, we weren't looking to amend the mechanic pay in the fire department, right? But that is that, that is part two of the but that's twenty that's not we're not looking to amend twenty fourteen dash nine for that. We're looking to amend next year's budget, if, right? If if okay. That's um, a different word. It's, yeah, twenty twenty fourteen dash nine. Um the email specified that Chief Sean would like to split the three the third certification mechanics pay into a sixty forty split. That's six. Right, but if you look at the many He's the wanting 20, to do it for the certification pay that would go out this year and the certification pay that would go out next year. So it would be an amendment to both ordinances if you so Oh, choose. that's right, that's in here. That's yeah, I just noticed it was in both and that's why I was questioning. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the only so piece that's, that's, that's yeah, that's yeah. the only piece that's in both ordinances. Yeah. Yes. That kind of got A, B, and C tonight. Kind of an A, B, and C. I, I apologize a, for that. But that's since it's yeah. So I'm, I'm more or less requesting to try to get the, the severance portion added to this year so we can still write that on the check for you here. Um, currently, you guys don't appropriate 911 funds. They're just used for salaries and overtime from the 911 dispatchers. We only, we only receive those funds if we have, you know, based on what the county pays out and what we pay out for dispatchers so those funds we won't be receiving those anymore those will go strictly right. to the county so we, so we went to the 911 board and said you know can we use some of those dollars because those could be dollars that may be spent for their, for their you know yeah. their salaries I, I think that I don't know I'm maybe reading the, not between the lines but I'm going to let the figure and say if I'm wrong but I, I think that council members are probably okay with this severance uh, proposal. Am I correct? Am I correct? The stumbling block for 2014-9 is the mechanic pay piece inside um, and that's that's another that's another question. So, if we want to deal with one thing, or we want to deal with that one now, save time for this, and it's going to affect the next one. Maybe we ought to have that discussion uh, now. Is that okay? If I might, excuse me. If I could clarify the mechanics pay, then we we might be able to table the actual amendment till next year, and, and deal with that. What we have is we've been currently working with two mechanics, and we're budgeted for. Uh, we had one of the members left in, this, in April, or uh, I guess Justin Byer left. He was paid as a mechanic. We have been using that money the rest of the year. The other two mechanics have picked up the difference. Uh, we had a couple of pretty good repairs that they were able to take care of and saved us a lot of money. So what I asked Bridget was is if we could take the $750 remaining and split that 60-40, and the two mechanics agree because one of them functions at a little bit higher level than the other one, and give them uh, split that $750. So that would be $450 to the lead mechanic and $300 to the second mechanic. And then that's this year, if we could go ahead and pay them. And then next year, if you want to look at the, come back after the first year and look at amending the salary ordinance, we certainly could do that. Well, that's but, what we're doing here tonight, really, right? The second proposal is Yeah, that. so if you want to do it, and you want to not employ three, just two, and keep it 60 40, now it's time to do that for next year. Okay, I just well, thought that might simplify yeah, yeah. things for you. I struggle to change it in December. <laughs> no, I, I do, do too. That's why. I, I, and and I, struggle, I struggle with why wasn't this brought up when we were talking about it in July? When the guy leave? He left about. That was about the time period he left uh, in the summer, and so we weren't at that point in time sure whether we were going to appoint another mechanic, and there just didn't seem to be a need for another mechanic at that time. The other two mechanics were coming on board. We're kind of, we're kind of giving a bonus here. Certification pay. It's a certification pay. We have a line item. Yeah. I just conceptually, I guess we're talking about the same thing. I don't. Uh, I'm just real uncomfortable with changing it 
this late in the day. Um, I, as far as next year goes, I don't even know what the possibilities of changing salaries. I guess you can. I, I mean, you can't well, do change things. the total. Yeah, it wouldn't change the total. Um, but actually, you'd have a. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's next year's problem. I, I just have I just have real concerns of of doing something this late in the day. Um, they agreed to, to, to do mechanics pay, it's $750 is a nice car. I don't I, I just, I don't think it's, it's too late now. The way it's brought is, what I'm hearing is the amount of money saved that they were able to save the department a whole, you feel that they are owed this money because of No, I just felt like that with the two mechanics really picked up the work of the third mechanic and we had that those funds available. That was my question to Bridget and Bridget thought the appropriate thing to do was bring it to the council and, and see if you would consider approving it. And, and part two, if you, as far as amending the salary ordinance for next year, uh, I'm okay with tabling that, or you can deal with that next year if, you, if you'd like to. Uh, they've saved us, my gosh, every year probably twenty, at least twenty thousand dollars this year, I think. Uh, probably six thousand in one repair alone. So they, they are worth a lot of value, and, and I understand if you can't do it. I understand. I just thought that was something that they picked up the slack and covered. So. Uh, this year. Um, just to clarify, the, one of the reasons why it came up is because the department heads, they certify the, um, the, cert they certify the certification, I'm re using redundancy, um, they certify those in June and December every year, so I think that's when it kind of came to Mike's attention, hey, you know, we're, we're, we're um, putting out certifications for the payroll department process. So it's not that it was late in the year and they're getting some big lump sum now. They were gonna get a they were gonna get that stipend anyway. It's just that we don't pay it out. We would the June portion would have been that third mechanic. So we were just gonna kinda, you know, if the council would approve it then the, the sixty forty split would just be on the difference for what that, that other mechanic didn't do. Yeah, pay the stipend though for the first part of the year for the third mechanic? Right, but we were only splitting. We're only splitting the difference for the well, second. What I'm saying was, did he leave before we paid him that stipend? No, he no, did he not. He did get that portion. So, yeah. he so was, it's only half of that money there. Right, correct. For, for this year, oh, and then next year he would get the, or if we did, if you did the sixty forty split next year, then so they would just split the difference. Yeah. The money's there, correct? Correct. It is there. It's part. Of, it's part of. The, it's part of the budget. It's part of the salary ordinance. It's just a. It's just the way it's. I don't know if you can give your money up. You can't get bonuses. If you want to change the job description, or not job description, but the salary to the job, you can do that now to start that out in the future. But as far as taking money and divvying it up, because I'm not sure. Okay, I'll, I'll make this really simple. I'll just withdraw the proposal, and then we'll, we'll come back after the first of the year and, and I think you look, at, look at doing the job description out there. Salary ordinance now, adjusting it now for next year. All right, is the I'm okay with looking at that. I, I, I think my concern was looking at adjusting this year's salary already in December. Yes, and, the, and it's not like we've already right? paid half of that as well. well the certification is typically, uh, yeah. it's a certification, right? It's not a bonus. But it's certification I mean, I guess it's already it's, there. We're just taking what somebody else didn't earn because they quit and giving up between two other people. Right, you would be changing. You would be changing the structure of the mechanics' pay if you opted to do this. You have two levels of mechanics. One would get more of a certification pay than the other. And that's what you look at right now. Gives you more than the other because one's got a higher certification and more knowledge will have. So we probably should. I don't know how do you clarify who's your senior mechanic and your, know, your junior mechanic. Well, they know. Well, yeah, I know, but I'm just saying, how do you clarify that? If, if, if there's, if there's a job yeah. description and so forth, in which I don't know, maybe there is. Or 
No, currently there is not. No, There's that's just, right. We're just have certification phase for three mechanics. Okay. So if well, you did anything, you would use it split up between the two of them if they work equal amount of time. That's what you have. <coughs> I don't know where everybody is, but in the time, I'm going to commit the motion. And then we can see what we want to do. That way, I move that we amend the amendment to Ordinance 2419, um, which is, that's what it's listed here, is Amendment to Ordinance 2419. We amend it to strike the mechanics pay level pay one, level pay two. And that with that amendment, we pass the amendment as proposed. Meaning that Strike the severance the can, can and allow the severance, severance as proposed. The severance would be um, approved. That's my motion. I'll second that. <coughs> that was discussion, please. That way it is changing job. No, that way it's keeping jobs there's like it is. No it's more additional minimums since 2015-6. There's no change to the yeah. dash six. We, we no. Yeah, it's striking. Okay. Every, everything, what is, what is, what we're doing is approving the, the severance for the incentive for the people who are actually moving to the new position. We are removing the requested change for this year's salary for firemen it should be addressed in the near future. So, that's my proposal. That was second. It was second by Jamie. Jamie. Yes. Let's make me plan second by Jamie. Yes. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion passes. Thank, Thank you, you, Glenn. And in the interest of time, I'm also going to make a recommendation on 2015-6, the second iteration of it, that we table it, <laughs> and let that be a decision that the next council and mayor and others is that a, is that a make motion? Motion? Yes, motion table. Is that a motion? table. Second. Motion to second by Blaine, second by Blaine, and for discussion. Favor say aye. 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 So I, I give you the skinny and if we have to ask questions and we'll, we'll dig in a little deeper. Uh, we swore in two new probationary firefighters. Uh, we gave permission uh, for Chief Shantz to purchase some fire hose and uh, 15 sets of turnout gear. Uh, Mark Foster camper came in and uh, we did uh, we we awarded bids for gravel, for sand, uh, for concrete, and we tabled uh, bids for fuel for next year actually at this point in time so we can better analyze the bids that we didn't get on that. Uh, we talked about the city sign agreement that Mark spoke to us about tonight. Uh, there was a draft, a draft uh, advertisement for taking bids for the 1989 GMC truck that we have at the street department that we, we authorized to put out to set line bids basically to sell that truck. Um, the, uh, the railroad grant also that Mark talked about tonight with us, we discussed that. Jeff, Jeff Imsweller came in and talked about uh, Chamber of Commerce renting space here at City Hall and actually upgrading one of the buildings similar to what the EEC did down there. So we granted approval for that. Uh, Chief Bridges came in and uh, we promoted uh, Mitch Tuttle to a first class patrolman. And then we also talked about the disposal of some uh, old old equipment and gave him authorization to dispose of that. Tom Wards came in and talked about our health insurance renewals for next year and we authorized the renewal of the Anthem Agreement which actually reduces our total potential liability by uh, was it, almost uh, to less than 1.9 uh, million where as of this year our total potential liability was up to 2.2 so it's a significant decrease in our total potential liability. <clears throat> Pretty significant. That was good. And we also authorized the uh, wrote it down here. A uh, service agreement contract. I'm saying it wrong. Professional services. Professional services agreement. I knew it wasn't what I had written down there. The professional services agreement with Tom Woods uh, yeah. helping out the city. 
Jeff Smith came in and talked about purchasing some lab equipment, gave him authorization to purchase that. Uh, Bridget talked about uh, disposal of some equipment in the clerk treasurer's office that we approved the disposal of. Uh, Ron May came in and had a damn discussion. And then we also uh, <laughs> the discussion, all right. Uh, and then we authorized a contract to receive power from RMC for a new station out on Veterans Way. Uh, pending approval of some money spent by the Redevelopment Commission. I got a question at some point. Sure. Sure. Um, I see that the Board of Zoning Appeals has a request for the city to construct a sign, a variance of the square footage. Now, is this the same sign that is going to take your discussion yes. with the council or the commissioners? Yes. The commissioners, we just spoke to them this morning, and they want to come back to the police now at the same time to discuss what we're on it. How are you going to pay for that? Have you? It has. You've always asked the council for their consent, approval, consideration for use of edit files. This is, it hasn't come up here. It hasn't because we don't have a you know, final dollar amount. But if you want to, we can do that. I mean, the mayor doesn't have to ask for approval, but I'd like to have your guys approval. Well, we have a quote, but we don't know if the counties want to work with us on it because you know a lot of jobs are in the city of Greensburg, and that's where the money's come from. And uh, I'd like to be a joint venture with them at least to help pay for it. Uh, right now, and I'll share some other things with you on that funds. We to keep from borrowing someplace or uh, from coming to council rainy day funds and gambling money to help. Uh, finance some of these deals that we're doing right now, like on signage or the, the TIF and things of that nature, that's federal aid. Um, we let them utilize edit money. And then when it comes back in, we put it back in the edit money. Right now, there's what Mark about $300,000 worth of edit money out you've been used. No, now, now, wait a minute, you just told me that this morning. You might receive more money, but you told me near three hundred thousand. So that's we what we got. We received fifty thousand, and we received another thirty this afternoon. Stacy's updated right. me twice. Right. But last I had heard, it's about three hundred thousand. I think now it's that was about two hundred twenty as of. Okay. So about three hundred thousand just come back. Next year, uh, according to the DL Jeff's uh, assessment, the city should be receiving about thirty-nine to forty thousand dollars a month. And the county should be receiving around sixty-seven thousand dollars a month on edit money. So I felt like there's money there to do it with. It is a marketing tool for our community. And, and there's two things about this. I, I have real problems with it being done this late in the, the year, right before the end. A new administration comes in. I think there's. And just the optics of it, I think, is rough, bad timing. But it hasn't been vetted. This is, I mean, I, it's an idea that you have, and and I respect that it's an idea. But it hasn't been vetted by the community. For us to spend, um, for the council to spend, you know, we agonize over ten, twenty thousand dollars to a couple of uh, goodwill piece of organizations here in the in the uh, community and you're talking about um, committing several hundred thousands to build the thing and ten to or more thousand just to maintain it in, every year. I, I just think that it hasn't been vetted. I'm not saying my initial thought on whether that's a good way to market the city